Okay, we are filleting the salmon. Well, we're gonna gut it first. You taking a picture of it? No, I'm actually videoing and you are on oh. camera. Come on in, get in the picture. <laughs> Golly, that guy looks big. If you could steady that other sure. end of it. At the cleaning stations down at, um, at the coast, they have these like uh, v racks and the fish just sets in there. Oh, and nice. It's really nice to do that. Well, this is a buck. Oh, okay. So, um, oh no, it is a hen. There are eggs down there. Okay, so, so you plan on harvesting You can those. see they're hardly developed. So, during the course of the spring and summer, when these fish travel up to their spawning grounds, these small eggs end up becoming like. Probably oh, four times that fish. size. Oh, oh wow. wow. Oh, and, yeah. And the big, th this is called a skein right here. Okay. Good lord. And, uh, it's a huge wow. fish. That's a 19 pound spring chinook, huh? Nice. Yeah. Isn't that a beauty? It is. It's a hen. Mm -hmm. There's the legs. Mm -hmm. um, these are probably smaller than I would use for um, curing. Mm -hmm. um, I suppose you could, but I, I don't think, oh. And then I would. Really okay. Just gonna toss them. Um, but uh, all pretty interesting. <laughs> Golly, that fish is massive. So the salmon head and carcass would be good like crab bait, right? Yeah, they use them for crab bait, for sure. Although I hear that the uh, chicken is better if for nothing else doesn't chicken's, attract... Chicken's really good. Now I use this little spoon... Um, uh, for cleaning the blood um, on the backbone. You can see that's a yep. right there. Yep. Well, what I like to do is I'll just kind of cut that membrane right there Yeah. on both sides. Just a little slight cut, being careful not to cut into the meat. And then we use this little spoon and just dig all that out. Um, you can see that comes out nice. Yeah. If you do it like that. Um, so yeah, the salmon or the fish, I guess, for the crab bait, uh, like attracts sea lions and stuff and seals and so they'll jack with your crab pots right so they yeah. don't they're not attracted to the they're chicken not attracted to chicken so right much, yeah so that is that is true but if you're out in the ocean that's not a problem it's more of a problem in the bay Now, this is not a real good cleaning station because typically a good salmon cleaning station would have a hose and, you know, they have a, a place to scale it and that. Right. So, um, I'm not one who's too worried about scaling the salmon. It's nice if you can do that, um, but uh, it's not, I don't think it's really that necessary. Um, it is nice if your scales aren't 
um, getting uh, into things when you're um, now I like to kind of cut this and get at an angle up here like this sharp because it, yeah, there's actually meat up in the head up there like yep get. so I do that and you know everybody's got their own little special way of doing it you know Kind of little idiosyncrasies to everybody's style. things I do and if you could assist me again and mm -hmm. kind of, why don't you grab a couple pair of those gloves and put them on that are in there okay. um, and just kind of keep your hands from really stinking because it's hard to wash the smell out okay. you know it takes a few of the hand washings but if you open that up and all right. get yourself some uh, gloves and you can take a break in the video and we'll okay all right when you're done.